So the Bedford View Spa is not as bougie as I remember her to be. I had to wipe my own basket handle. They didn't have Pepsi in a can. They didn't have the spicy noodle range that I was looking for. Seapoint Spa could never. Hi guys, welcome to or back to my channel. My name is Natalie and I'm here with another video, but this time a mukbang. I don't know if you can see it, so you can't. These are the noodles that I have. I haven't eaten in like two days. So obviously when I went to go buy this, I bought way more than I needed. I think I probably only need like two packets and I'll, uh, I'll be fine. But yeah, I'm doing a, a spicy noodle mukbang. So let's see what we have first. I bought two of each thing and I bought like one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four different stuff. So I have the kimchi ramyun. The kimchi kimchi ramyun cup. I still don't know what kimchi is to this day. Then we have the K Korean clay pot ramyun. Is it ramyun or ramyun? And then we have the instant noodles mi goreng dried noodles. That looks cute. Fun fact, I know that this looks like there has egg in it, but there's actually no egg in it. I literally had to sit in the aisle and like read all the ingredients just to make sure because instant noodles actually aren't vegan. Like if there's a shrimp flavored one, they actually use like dried fish. I didn't know that. So like that was very disheartening for me to see. So that's and then the shin rum. Is it rum yun? Is it shin rum yun? Shin rum yun. Noodle soup. This is gourmet spicy. I'm gonna start with this one. Yeah. So basically I'm just gonna eat with you guys please grab yourself some noodles if not you can just watch me eat these noodles and maybe eat the chips that you're eating if you're eating pringles that's that's cool too if you're not eating that's fine you can just watch me eat and i'll be answering some questions but first let me go make this oh yeah grab a bottle of water or a pepsi in my case that's bottled subscribe if you're new and let's get into this video so i made my noodles i'm sorry i have to use a ghetto looking pot or container something is not even that ghetto it's actually quite nice um do you guys want to see me like hold it is that is that the chat that you want this is the first taste test it said soup so i didn't drain the broth I made this so well, I should get an award because I finessed the system. I'm not even gonna lie to you, I finessed it. What it did, it told me that I needed to boil a pot of water, like let it boil, then put the noodles, the soup, the seasonings in it, and then let it simmer for 45 minutes. I was like, I don't have time for that. I really don't. So I boiled the kettle, I put everything in my one container, as you can see, but this is a lot of noodles. And then I put it in the microwave for two minutes. And look, it's just perfection. It's tasted, it tastes so good. Like it's like, you know how noodles are supposed to taste, not like too al dente, I don't know. It's to be honest, I don't know the right word, but that's really good. That's really delicious. And it's like warm and it's hot, so not really. It's like not too spicy that I, like I, I can still have this, you know? So I'm going to be doing a lockdown Q&A and I'm just going to be basically asking, like answering questions. I know that lockdown hasn't technically ended, but because we're in level one, lockdown has basically ended. I think the only like really terrible thing is we still have a curfew at midnight, but like I'm back at home. So technically like why am I out past 10, you know? So... Thumbnail. That's really good. So the first question is, come on, own up. Did you stockpile any? I'm glad you brought it up because I've been dying to talk about it for a fucking hot minute. First of all, no, I did not stockpile anything. I personally, personally, on my like weekly allowance and the way work was going, I could not afford to. Nor would I do it anyways because I just thought it was so selfish of people to do that. Why are you stockpiling? Why are you doing that? Like, why are you doing that? You know, because you're stockpiling and buying every single roll of toilet paper, which I still don't understand why people were stockpiling on the toilet paper because you know there's so many different variations of what you can do to wipe your bum. Personally, I still don't understand why people use toilet paper to wipe their bum like when we were babies we used to use like wet towels and like wet wipes and all that jazz which i personally think is cleaner so the problem with having your own bathroom is like if you don't put the toilet roll in your own toilet like it's late you're not gonna and if you're already sitting on the toilet it's like really hard to like especially if it's 10 11 12 o'clock you can't necessarily phone someone and be like bring me toilet paper so like i have like wet wipes that you can actually use for your bum and i've been thinking they're just so good because like, i can leave the bathroom and i feel so refreshed i feel like i've just taken another shower you know so yeah so that whole idea of like buying toilet paper stockpiling on all that food just created like mass hysteria and like i personally have like very mixed reviews of the coronavirus and everything like that my anesthesiologist when i went, took my my wisdoms out said i can't believe we shut down the economy for people just to lose their taste 
and like for me i was like dude that's so harsh like oh my god you know people died and then i looked at it and i was like but more people have died of poverty and hunger than people have died of coronavirus in south africa Oh yeah, back to the stockpiling. It's also the same people who stockpiled with like, look at all those people queuing outside the shops during level 5. I'm sorry ma'am, I'm sorry, please take your privilege and go to bed. And people like live from hand to mouth, okay? And that's the sad, unfortunate living space that a lot of people in South Africa are dealing with. And for me it was just so frustrating. So yeah, no, I didn't, um, I didn't stockpile anything. I guess you could say that before the lockdown, I stockpiled on alcohol, but not really, because like I bought like a bottle of Absolutes, which I didn't finish, two bottles of wine, which I didn't finish, a six pack of Brutal Fruit or Savannah, one of the two, I did finish. And um, then I just kind of took a break from drinking. Like every single time I would drink, I would get too drunk because my tolerance was just too low and I, I just don't drink anymore. However, whenever I hit a milestone on YouTube, I like to pop a bottle of champagne, but the cheap kind, like Chase Deliveroo, because a bitch don't have money at all. It's good, but it's like burning the back of my throat. That's why I need to chew. Have you discovered a new hobby? Yes, I would say, I don't know if you can count cooking as a hobby because basically I don't cook for the enjoyment, I cook to survive. Um, and obviously takeaways were closed during level five and my source of food used to come from restaurants, like eating out or ordering in all the time. <clears throat> so obviously like I had a brief moment of panic when level five hits and I was like, oh my God, like, and like the thing is like, I don't know how to cook, but I was like, I actually do know how to cook. I love cooking. It's just that I hate the fact that every single time I eat, I have to wash dishes. It's like someone's out to get me. I don't I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Um, YouTube is a new hobby, so that's pretty cool for me. That has been really fun. Like, And I can tell you for free that you're going to be seeing more videos from me now because I don't know what I'm doing for the next three months. So... These noodles are good. I thought I'd be working out, but I didn't. All I did was just gain weight. Mmm, that's really good. Where was the first place you went once the the restrictions were not what? Um, where was the first place you went when the restrictions were somewhat lifted? I went to a place called Ubon and I had the same thing that I always have when I'm there. I was the only person in the restaurant, but it just felt so good to be there. I had the same thing that I have all the time and it's not like I didn't order from Ubon when it was level four. I still ordered from them. I ordered um, some spring rolls, the Penang curry and yeah, and I ordered a six pack of Coronas to go. Funny story, as um, Ubon now, the the lady Lady forgot to the restaurant owner forgot to pay their liquor license so for this month like you can go to Ubon and you can bring your own alcohol how do you forget to pay and it was by a day I felt so bad on my last day in Cape Town we went to Ubon and I was like I think I want to have like tequila and like ginger ale you know because I feel like if you mix anything with ginger ale it's not alcohol so and I'm like sorry like the liquor license and whatnot and I was like that's so embarrassing because on the weekend no one can buy alcohol so restaurants would be booming but you just shot yourself in the foot because now you're saying bring your own alcohol but now i can't bring my own alcohol on saturday and sunday because i don't have are you not embarrassed is it not embarrassing for you i don't even know if that's how it goes it's so embarrassing long wear or um, ugh, lounge wear <laughs> loungewear or normal clothes for a day of isolating um i was in my pajamas like all the time like the whole time sometimes i would only shower if i needed to go grocery shopping and i went grocery shopping once every four days because bitches like me can't afford to stockpile i'm sorry i'm back on that again but um and you know the thing with stockpiling is like it got so bad to the point that people weren't gonna rob like people would follow like mercedes benz is home people who own gucci bags gucci belt louis vuitton wallets they would follow those people home not even take anything of that they would just be like open the boots give me your groceries that's how bad that stockpiling situation got that's so embarrassing i hope you all learned your lesson don't ever stockpile buy what you need buy what you need you want to stockpile go to macro that's the whole point of macro isn't it i don't know um so yeah i basically wore my pajamas the whole time and i only wore like normal clothes if i had to go grocery shopping but like sometimes i went to my pajamas you know during level five like no one was out like it was so quiet it was beautiful like i was just like yo now i look at traffic and i'm just like i'm so annoyed were you wearing makeup while you were at home? I did not touch makeup. I thought to myself that that would be a good time for me to fix my skin. Like not wearing makeup because I used to wear makeup all the time for work and my skin was looking so dull. The texture was off. Like your the bags, like I didn't even have bags under my eyes. I just had dark circles under my eyes and also I quit smoking then. So then I gave it up for lens and then it just went through onto the lockdown. So I was like, my skin's gonna look great. I started using this new serum, Gentle Magic. 
Guys, that was a skin whitening cream. That It's literally a skin whitening lotion. But um, I remember my mom and my sister were like, you look so sick. My skin didn't improve at all. My skin has improved now, somewhat. Uh, I think it's finally adjusted to the Johannesburg weather. Yeah, I didn't wear any makeup. I'm wearing makeup now. I'm learning how to wear makeup again. I also just want to look somewhat attractive when I'm making videos for you guys because I it, like I watched my first video and guys I looked so ill my skin had no flavor it didn't look yummy no Swedish man would want me so I had to change that and right now I think it's looking a, a, li a little bit better I bought a new serum a vitamin C serum that's gonna make my face look so uh, watch this space <laughs> Did you give in to the hype and bake your own banana bread? I didn't know that was a thing. It makes so much sense because my flatmates just randomly made banana bread one Sunday. Personally, no, I'm not gonna make anything to do with bananas. I'm not gonna do that. I did not bake once. I think my boyfriend and I tried to make a cake and it was so good. The problem like with vegan, vegan desserts is they're much sweeter. They are much, much more sweeter than like a normal cake with egg and like normal butter and like sugar would be. And it was very, very sweet, um, but it was still good, but like it was very sweet. Yeah, you know, I didn't get into the hype to make banana bread, but why would you? I don't get it. Like, why do people like banana bread? Why do people like bananas? You can get potassium from like anything else. I think you can get it from like, I remember for my smoothies, I had to put bananas in them and then I changed them to something else and it was like a black seeded thing. I don't know what it was, but like I have lived all my life perfectly without eating bananas. I used to do netball fests and I used to play four days in a row, hectic games, and I never had a banana, you know? Bananas aren't everything. You don't need them. You don't need them at all. Leave them, leave them, just leave them. Were you still ordering takeaways and if so, what was the first one you ordered? Yes, when we could order takeaways, I told myself that I didn't want to, but I ended up doing it anyways. And my first one was Butler's Pizza. Oh. Yes. Ooh. I used to order cheeses pizzas with um, guac pepper dues, but they call it butleritos and um, garlic and pineapple. It's, it's probably the best thing I've ever had in my life. Pizza with no cheese. Mm. And it's because they use a sweet tomato based, so it just tastes so good. And like the dough is like a really good like a size. It's not too thick, it's not too thin. Like you just bite into it, it's so good. The next day it also tastes really good. Yeah. I can't believe I'm almost finished these noodles. That's crazy. I thought that I would finish this interview. It's not an interview. Has your Instagram content changed since the lockdown? I would say not really. Like the stuff that I post on my feed has not changed. The stuff that I post on my stories has changed. I've always been very much, mm, I don't want to post this in case I offend anyone or like someone might see this as the wrong thing and see that I'm being very negative or something like that. And then after the George Floyd incident, I just had enough. Like I personally had enough and I was tired and I was just like, you know what? It just made me really reflect on like all the ways that I'd been marginalized and like I'd been discriminated against because of the fact that I'm a woman or because I'm black or because of both. And like now I just honestly don't care. Like I say what I want to say. I think it's time. It's too. 2020 we need to call a spade a spade and we need to be realistic and we need to be honest with one another because something that pisses me off the most is when you like tell someone something especially when it comes to something like race and just be like no you wouldn't understand or you do this and this and this because you're white and that person gets really upset and they get offended and I'm just like I don't have time for that anymore you know what I mean you can listen to what I have to say I'm not going to give unsolicited information out unnecessarily but if I feel like you're doing something you're gaslighting me or gaslighting someone else you're acting inappropriately to someone else and it doesn't have to be someone of color but also can someone be like is maybe Jewish or or Islamic or Hindu or it could be someone who's gay, bisexual, non-binary or something like that and if I see anything that's happening like I literally will open my mouth now because enough is enough. I spent like five years in high school keeping quiet regarding all the racial situations that were happening, all the homophobic stuff that was happening in high school and the transphobic things that were happening in high school and I kept quiet through all of it because I was, like, I was worried about offending other people and now I'm just like I'm not. No one should be judged because of what they believe in, the way they look, how they dress and who they feel that they are so I feel like that's changed now and I really don't care who gets offended by it because at the end of the day if you're getting offended by something that I'm putting out and I'm not even putting out things to be like you do this it's just like listen these are common traits of people who do a b and c and if you're gonna unfollow me because of that and you don't want to see it anymore so be it but that's okay if you don't like it bye Who have you missed seeing the most? Well, at the beginning of the lockdown, I really missed my boyfriend, but then he moved in with me, like, when the lockdown is extended. But shame, even when he, like, leaves me for a day, like, I miss him, so... I miss my dogs, but I miss my dogs all the time. I miss my friends. I miss going out with my friends. I miss seeing them. I miss the band. Um, my camera lost storage. Again. It's a freaking huge thing, but, like, um... 
I don't even want to get into it and I can't even remember what the last question was but it was the last question oh yeah I miss my friends I miss my dog and I miss my boyfriend I miss everyone I miss my colleagues I miss the kitchen staff I miss everyone mm. And that's all for my mukbang. This is all the noodles that I have left. It was literally up to like, yeah, you can't tell. But it was like this literally, this, this much noodles. I'm basically almost finished, but it's just like my mouth and my lips feel like it's burning. And when my lips feel like it's burning, my skin feels like it's burning. But if you've made it this far, please give this video a big thumbs up. If you haven't, please subscribe. And usually I would say I post on Tuesdays and Fridays, but now I'm just trying to keep things interesting and post whenever I can, as often as I can. I know a lot of people are like, but Nani, you'd rather your content be, re be really good and post like once in a while than shitty and post all the time. And I'm like, my content's not all that good though, so. Take care of yourselves. Oh no, that's not how it goes. It goes, I post on Tuesdays and Fridays, which is not the case anymore. Be kind to yourself and I'll see you guys next time. Yeah, my skin is burning. Bye.